Are you ready for another great grocery haul? Let's take a look at what I found at the grocery stores for my family for this week. So come on along. Hello family and friends, I'm Susan and welcome to my home. And it's grocery shopping time again. And I went ahead and got out my menu plan and I'm looking at this week's menus, which are all kid friendly menus and then went through the Food Line sales paper. I did find a few things that were inter interesting, like this uh, Food Line boneless chicken breast for $1.79, and they did have their frozen chicken breast for $9.99 for a bag. It is the, the chicken breast portions with rib meat, but still, that's not a bad price for the bag. And they do have the Rotel 4 for $5, but we'll have to see if they have any in stock. So let's go ahead and head to the store and see what kind of good deals I find. And before I go to get the groceries, I wanted to let you know that today's grocery haul is in collab with Tiffany from Small Town 6 and Jessica Myros. It is their monthly grocery haul collab. And I will list the collab and their channels down below so you can go visit all the different creators with all the different grocery hauls we're going to be having. So let's go ahead and head to the store and see what I can find. And I found some discounted meat, manager special. And here are the chicken breasts on sale for $1.79 a pound. And here's the four for $5 Rotel, which they did not have my cilantro lime flavor. And then the Posco kielbasas were $2.99 on sale, and I did get two. And this jalapeno cheddar was also on sale for $2.99. I'm going to need some Colby Jack cheese for one of the recipes. Let's get started right off the bat with some discounted meat. They had a bunch of pork chops on discount, and I couldn't pass up at least getting something. This is a pork chop with the bone in it, and I love the bone in pork chops. It's normally $7.92. I got it for $4.75, so I did save some money, and this will be put in the freezer. I needed cheese. They had their big cheeses on sale for $6.99, so I got some mozzarella, and I got some, oh, I meant to get Mexican. I got some mild cheddar. Thought I got Mexican. I'll have to get some Mexican next time I go around. But got those for $6.99. They had their Posca kielbasas on sale for $2.99. Went ahead and got two of them because you know I'll use them. And they had this on sale for $2.99 also. It looked intriguing, so I went ahead and got me one. And I am going to be making some freezer meals this weekend, and I needed lots of chicken. So they had their chicken on sale. I believe it was $1.97 a pound, $1.79 a pound. There it is. So instead of it being $6.72, I got it for $4.31. And it's quite a bit of chicken breast. It's nice size ones. I got two of them. Uh, this one was $5.08 and would have been almost $8. So, you know, saving money where you can. I am going to be doing kid-friendly meals this week. And I needed two of the pizza crusts to make two different meals um, this week. So I went ahead and got two of the cans of pizza crust. And for one of the kid-friendly meals, I've got something you can do with chicken bites, but the chicken bites were very expensive. These were on like $5.97, so I went ahead and got some chicken nuggets instead. Uh, these chicken breast portions were $9.99 for the big bag. Went ahead and got the bag of uh, the chicken breast portions. There's quite a few in the bag, so it's not a bad deal. I have another recipe in the freezer meals. Calls for mushrooms, so I got that. And another one for freezer meals that calls for a salsa verde. I got one of them. I got some green chilies in a can. And I got two of the tomato sauces. Also for the freezer meals. Got some bacon bits for one of the kid meals I'm making. And some original meatballs. I'm going to make some of my homemade meatballs sometimes. I keep saying that. You know, right now it's almost cheaper to buy, or to buy them than make them, but it's about the same now. It's getting down a little bit. But I went ahead and got some original meatballs to make one of the freezer meals this week. I needed some ham for one of the kid meals I'm going to be making and some Colby Jack snack bars for another of the kid meals I'm going to be making and rotini pasta. I just went ahead and got the Food Line brand. It was there. I grabbed it. Salami is also going to go in one of the kid meals I'm making, which I couldn't believe the kids liked it, but, you know, I will explain it to you because I gave all the recipes to my daughter, and I said, what will my grandbabies eat? 
and she sent them back to me and these are what they picked so I'm like okay I'll make them I got some gallon size storage bags and I've been craving some pimento cheese and I love jalapeno pimento cheese and I haven't went to Ingles to get my favorite kind so, I went ahead and got this to try. It was only like $4.99, which wasn't bad. We'll try it and see how it tastes. Pepperoni. I've got these for two, two recipes this week. So, I'll be using those. I got some Dawn dishwashing soap, not dishwashing soap, Dawn of, of the little scrubber heads to go on my wands. So, I got those. And I got some Food Line creamer, some French vanilla to go in my cold brew coffee and to go in Danny's hot coffee. And for Walmart, I got the big thing of hamburger meat. It was like $27.76 if I'm not mistaken. So you really save money with this. And I went ahead and got it. I'll divide it up and put it in the freezer because I'm about out of hamburger meat. And of course, my tried and true, I got three of these Ham and Americans, the little Lunchables for $1.18. Love those. And last but not least, three more of my water flavors. I got the coconut, which is actually really good. If you mix this with the, uh, I believe it's sun-kissed pineapple, it makes a pina colada tasting water, which is really good. I've already done that. <laughs> and uh, I've got the dragon fruit acai. It's really sweet, really good. And then the unicorn purple flavor burst. It is really good. So yeah, I'm getting a problem with water flavors, but that's okay because I'm drinking lots of water. And here is the grocery haul for this week and what I got. And don't forget to take just a minute and go visit the other creators on the collab. Lots of great grocery hauls that you can see what everybody got. It'll be listed below. And here is this coming week's menu. On this week's menu, we have Texas toast, pizza, taco sticks, popcorn chicken ranch pasta, and stromboli. Don't forget to click that link below and subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. And let our family be a part of your family.